Our former state president, Dr. Nelson Mandela, once said, education is the only vehicle at our disposal to change our socioeconomic status. People say, whatever we do in schools, that's going to show in the future. The African Bank plays a pivotal role from an early childhood development point of view, through primary school, high school, and even at a tertiary level. The areas in which the African Bank Development Trust has chosen to work are crucial in terms of being the core of creating successful learning in South African schools. Early childhood development for as many children as possible is a necessary foundation to build success in the foundation years. We've got a number of ECD projects uh, running in various provinces and the idea there is that we train the ECD teachers. But to help those teachers understand the value and the importance of, the, of what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and how it affects each and every child and how so much can change out of that. Train them to do what they can with the least that they have. And it's not just about giving or dumping resources to teachers or to schools, but it's helping those teachers understand the value of their contribution, their role. You're not spoon feeding them, but you're teaching them to teach themselves and take ownership of their school. The more that we can do to support teachers and appreciate them, the more I think that we'll build education in South Africa. I think education is an absolute foundation. I think before you talk of anything else, you've got to get your population educated, especially from the young age. We have a way of perhaps describing our strategy, and we call it the golden thread in education. It's uh, just about trying to build a foundation and then putting bricks on top of that foundation. And so our very first programs at the lowest level start at uh, early childhood development centres. Our next focus area is English literacy. Because again, we believe if you get English literacy correct, in the junior school phase, then it's going to equip the child a lot better to cope with whatever's thrown at them at a later stage. From there, our focus has been on math, science, IT, and entrepreneurship training. Those are the key ones um, that we do in the high schools. Over and above that, our other main focus area is sport. We basically look for people as opposed to uh, existing programs. When we find the right person and we back that person, we've had great success. You find social entrepreneurs, somebody who's passionate about a cause. Connect with this person individually, say, I'm going to give you the resources that you need to make it happen. Inspire them to show up each and every day. The result of it is 90% of our money generally gets into the ground. I'm going to say one, two, three, say Abracadabra. One, two, three. Abracadabra! Then what happens? Probably the most important focus is my teacher support system. This program gave us support that we'd never received before. Karen does workshops for them to understand what is expected of them to teach the little ones. I get them to see how much fun education is. We play games. We learn to get children involved. You have to be very enthusiastic when you're a teacher. And that is the message she sends to the school. It was actually a, a gust of new energy that had just come into the school. We try to make sure that there's something hanging up on the walls everywhere so that children get to be challenged and see things all the time. We were able to get Books. They wouldn't have had this library without this program. English is global, so if you can't speak it, you can't grow. The teachers are speaking in English now, whereas before, many of them were not. We've seen kids uh, taking command of the language, and, and, and that's great for us. We provide resources, we purchase classroom materials for them. We have contests, poetry, speech, spelling contests, which they love. Karen spends all her time trying to get the best of a child. Don't talk to strangers. I heard my mommy tell. They could be a danger, so listen very well. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Yes, Dad. How many times have I told you? So many. If I told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Yes, Dad. To see my child being confident to be able to speak in front of other children, to be able to contribute in discussions. For me as a parent, that meant a lot. This program, the impact it had made in our schools and other schools in the area, was something so welcoming. 
and really overwhelming. My learners are doing very well. The progress has been amazing. They've all improved, every teacher, every class. I think the African Bank needs to be commended because investment in education is the way to go. I think education is the absolute foundation. I think before you talk of anything else, you've got to get your population educated, especially from the young age. Without African Bank, there wouldn't be a program. We have employees of African Bank that come out to the schools, get involved, read to the children. So the African Bank, not only the finances, but the people have been behind us 100%. It's been amazing. Maths and science are areas of concern. They're crucial in terms of their foundation for learning in many other areas. Without maths and science and computer literacy, you, they aren't, aren't going to, to prosper. The Timbisa Maths Project encompasses four schools in the area. Each school has 24 computers in that school. We've managed to load the master maths programs onto these computers. The kids that we've selected so far are extremely eager uh, to get going with the project. Uh, they all have a deep desire to improve their maths marks. Talk to most of our project managers, they'll all tell you how excited the kids are, how uh, much the teachers appreciate and are motivated by the attention that our guys show. For the first time in our generation, someone knows more than mom, dad and grandma, and that's Google. If children don't have the internet access, I think they are really um, handicapped. Once we have internet accessibility, you, you, you are a global citizen immediately. Education needs to become up to date with how to access young people through IT. Talk to these kids in the language that they understand, because these kids want to be online. Give them the platform, give them the, the tools, and sit back and, and watch magic happen. The project sees us giving schools computers as well as access to the internet. In Gauteng, we've got 45 schools on the program, and in the Eastern Cape, there's 20 schools. For the learners, it was like, you know, they received the best present on earth to find out that they can write new things on computer, they can do research, they can show their parents what they learned from school. With internet connectivity, it was great to see them taking ownership of their learning. The teachers love having this, uh, this resource here. It is, it's something that they find invaluable. It has made their task easier. They can concentrate on what they are here for. The success of this project is that we do training with the teachers, we give them the computers, but then we're teaching them how to use these computers. Our aim is to try and make sure that they are ready for you know, education for the future. Teachers have empowered themselves via the workshops uh, run by African Bank. They know how to use their computers, they know how to gain information and resources off those computers, and how to make the most of the information for the students. There were certain teachers that uh, were computer illiterate, but with the workshops, they have now joined the computer age. It was like a miracle to find out that now how easy it is to make, uh, to use email addresses. You are always up to date with what is currently happening around the globe. Parents, community, they're flocking to our school because of the computers. You're really opening up a world that so many of these schools just weren't exposed to. And it reflects in the results that the schools are actually um, managing to achieve. Entrepreneurship is a very big part of what we do. It is the youth of today who are going to be successful business people of tomorrow. And it is critical that uh, from a young age, we fill them with the right type of information and knowledge to get them on the right path. Currently within the entrepreneurship program, we have nine schools. That's uh, five high schools and four primary schools. Try to make sure that the kids understand uh, the basics of what is required within a business. Being an entrepreneur, what an entrepreneur actually takes, and the simple rules to business. Thereafter, we try to focus on the functional sides of business. The four core areas that any business should have, mainly HR, uh, your accounting, your operations, uh, and your sales and marketing. The Tembisa Entrepreneurship Program is a school-based initiative where we seek to develop entrepreneurs. We use vegetable tunnels to simulate uh, small businesses. We encourage and motivate them to say nobody should be poor or should get hungry, whereas they can use their hand 
to feed themselves and to take care of the environment. We were working very hard. Each and every day we, go, we went there to water. We made sure that each and every tunnel is clean and it's very perfect. What I've learned from the project is a lot about business. It taught me responsibility, caring uh, for the environment and how to provide for the community. The produce that is made at the tunnels is uh, in part sold to the school to ensure that uh, the school is able to add that to the school's feeding scheme. When you grow some vegetables in there, you're not just doing it for yourself, you're doing it for other people. In those tunnels, I was teaching them how to apply what they learn in class outside the class. The highlight of the project was when we won the prize yeah, because we took some of the money and donated it to a charity. Donating the money to Dumelo Home, playing with the kids, and showing them they still, there are people who still love them. We've been extremely encouraged by the results that we've seen. There was a drastic change, both academically and socially. It was just a matter of empowering the, the kids. I really like the African Bank Development Trust's emphasis on sport. It can be a very powerful vehicle of drawing in young people. Sport has a big part in developing a person. To either become a team player, a leader, you learn so many skills and it integrates because in sport you can't play sport alone. We run a number of soccer programs, we run a number of football programs, we run a number of netball programs, we run a couple of cricket programs. It gives them an opportunity to participate, it gives them an opportunity even to excel and it can be a very powerful way of building links with the community. Currently we have 20 underprivileged primary schools in KZN and then we have uh, 20 underprivileged primary schools in the Western Cape. Also in the afternoons we have four community fields which are for all the children who come home after school and have nothing to do as opposed to messing around in the streets. They now have a field that they can come to and get coached and stay out of trouble. This gives them an opportunity to participate in clinics, tournaments and just to keep them busy. We know they're in a safe place, we know they're positively engaged taking them away from the drugs and other ills on the streets. So for us as parents, that means a lot. After the first year here, we saw, we saw that there was a need for uh, life skills or life orientation. So we do do about a 10 or 15 minute uh, session every day, have it before for the training session. I think yeah, the coaches have also got to know the players more now, you know, so they're, so they're starting to understand what the players need and what they lack. One of the greatest changes is time management. On the days that they have soccer going on, you don't have to tell them to fetch water. You don't have to tell them to do their homework because they're looking forward to it. And I think that sense of looking forward to something brought a lot of responsibility within them. These skills are core to building a good society, to building a good company. And a good sportsman has excellent capabilities. We've seen kids being uh, nominated to, to attend training programs with clubs that have registered with, uh, with the PSL. Our Ragtag kids have beaten Ajax uh, professional under 14 team, 3 and 4 0. In Abit KZN, we've got two under 14 players who currently uh, train with the under 14 Amazulu Youth Academy. And then in Western Cape, we've just had one under 14 player sign a five year deal with Ajax. It just proves how many children are out there that have the, the raw talent but don't have the opportunity. Without the sponsorship from Habit African Bank, the, the project wouldn't be possible. One of the most important things about this program is the commitment from the executive. And I have encouraged and they have committed to, to their personal involvement in the CSI program for African Bank. And hopefully they will do the same to their team and it cascades down to the organization. And then we can find something very special that is more than just money, but is involvement at a very, very deep level. I've come across uh, so many people that are doing amazing work under tough circumstances, um, and yet they're still there trying to make a difference. And that's been a huge wake-up call for me. Really been fantastic. You know, if you go into a school and you see kids that are excited to see you and, you know, want to tell you about what they've researched the day before and what new ideas they have, there's nothing more thrilling and more exciting than that for me. I'm the guy that believes it can be done. I'm the guy that believes that, you know, you've got a lot of inventions that are lying dormant in Tempe. You've got a lot of great paintings that have not been painted. You've got a lot of great music that has not been composed. There's no limit to how much we could do. We've got 16 projects on the table, uh, which we would most certainly support. 
All of them were very similar in terms of the focus area, similar in terms of the numbers, similar in terms of the way they would be managed. We could virtually double this program given additional resource. My vision is to go back and plow that seed of greatness inside of them, fertilize it, water it, you know, nurture it. I believe magic is going to happen.